Hey, 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 good to see everyone. So today we're going to be looking at uh, how to divide integers. So we're going to be dividing positive and negative numbers, okay? Positive and negative whole numbers specifically, okay? So that is what an integer is. So we're gonna be looking at uh, the relationship between multiplication and division to divide integers. And we are also going to determine which quotients of integers are equivalent. All right, so let's look at this first example here. A machine is, a machine drill is used to access water under the ground. If a machine drills at the same distance each day, what will the change of location at the bottom of the hole be each day? So what will this difference be at each day? So we know that, oops, that at the very end it will be down below the ground at negative 160 feet. How many days will it take? Well, we know that it will, we can divide that by four. It's telling us how many parts it would be. So we are wanting to know after day one, day two, day three, day four. So a negative 160 divided by four, well, we do the same as what is 160 divided by four. Well, we know 16 divided by four is four, so 160 divided by four is 40. Now, this is the key takeaway for today. The same rules for multiplying integers applies for dividing. So since we have a negative here and a positive, a negative divided by a positive gives us a negative. So it is negative 40. So at day one, we would be down at negative 40. Day two would be negative 80. Day three would be negative 120. Day four would then be negative 160. So we can see that it is the same rate each day. All right, that's it. <clears throat> so suppose the machine drills the same distance into the ground for three days and reaches the water 84 feet below ground level. What was the change in location at the bottom of the hole each day? Each day the location is at the bottom of the hole changed by feet or decreased by how many feet? So go ahead and put that in the Ed Puzzle video, okay? Well, I move my face. All right, so we can say that it will be 84 divided by three, negative 84, because it's going down, okay? So then it will be three times what would be negative 84. We could think about it that way, opposite, right? So three times negative 28 is negative 84. So negative 84 divided by three is negative 28. So we're just undoing the division here to see that it is true. Okay, this is just the opposite. So it is going down negative 28, negative 56. So it went down by negative 28, so it decreased by 28 feet. All right, so you're gonna go ahead and simplify this. So we can simplify 27 divided by three is going to give us nine. Negative divided by a negative, is positive, so it is just positive nine. So your answer is positive nine. That's it. Go ahead and try these on your own. So this one here will be five divided, or 40 divided by five is eight, negative divided by negative is positive, so we know that it will be a positive eight. B will be negative eight. C, zero divided by anything will be zero. And it's not negative zero. Negative zero is the same as just zero. <clears throat> are the following quotients equivalent? Justify your answer. So are these the same? Yes, they are the same because this is negative 18 over 4. This is negative 18 over 4. And this is negative 18 over 4. The reason why they're the same is because we only have one negative. It's because there is just one negative here. Since there's a negative, it doesn't matter if it's going to the top or the bottom. There is just one negative. If you took a calculator and you took negative 18 divided by 4, you would get the same thing. They would all be the same. All right, last one. Which of the following 
are equivalent to negative 5. All right, the first one, this would be positive 5. So it's not this one. This one would be five, negative 5. So it is this one because we have the negative at the front. It is this one because it's negative 55 over 11. Negative over a negative will become a positive. This would be positive 5, so it is not this one. 5 over negative 11 is negative 5, so it is this one. Negative over a negative would be a positive 5, but we still have our negative on the outside, so it is negative 5. So it is also this one. So I will highlight the ones that are equivalent to negative 5. There we go. All right, write down any questions that you might have. This was a short lesson. Get a lot of practice out there. Let me know if you have questions on the Math Excel. Bye.